And uh, good day, everybody. I'm Doug Moso, and I'm here with my counterpart, Travis Anderson, to uh, welcome you to the next in our series of Snackables, uh, where we're joined by Mural today. And uh, with Lindsay and Bentley, if you want to wave a hello this morning, we're excited to uh, take you through the continuation of how we work better together uh, and create collaborative applications. A few housekeeping items as we go forward today. Again, as I mentioned, we are recording. Uh, the recording will be made available a little later today. Uh, once that's uh, available to Travis and I, we'll be posting that. But in the meantime, if you don't mind, please muting your phone or raising your hand if you want to come off of mute um, to ask a questions. We welcome questions anytime throughout the content today. So please be sure to uh, to offer up anything that you want to ask this group, myself and Travis, or the mural team. And then also know that we will be asking for some feedback. Travis will be putting in the chat a uh, uh, a survey, if you will, and the exciting thing about the survey is it allows you to ask for further assistance, but also puts you in a drawing for a nice prize and giveaway. So, uh, you know, as we think about why Travis and I started this series, you know, we did this now almost for a year, I think, Travis, if, and uh, we're welcoming in our partners. It's all about how we're driving more collaboration under a single pane of glass, and that single pane of glass for us is teams, and we have the opportunity, and I won't uh, talk through the entire slide here, but the, oops, the idea is that uh, we're going to take third party applications and our partners, and we're going to build that integration into Teams so that your end users have the opportunity just to continue to work where they are. And uh, Mural is joining us today, but we have a lot, of a lot of other opportunities for you to take advantage of these third party applications. Many of these, Travis and I have highlighted in our Stackable series and uh, we'll continue to do so going forward. So look for future connections uh, with new applications or sometimes repeats of those that are very popular. And we certainly welcome your recommendations if you have a particular application that your organization uses, feel free to throw that in the chat and Travis and I will work to do a future discussion as we go forward. So with that, I will let Lindsay jump in and take the mural conversation forward from here. Thanks everybody. Beautiful. Thank you, Doug. And I know that we are so excited to be back here on the snackable stage um, talking about Mural and Teams, um, especially since we've had some great recent releases. Um, first, I'm going to go through a couple of different slides to level set on what is Mural <laughs> um, and then uh, what's um, what are some of the primary use cases you might use Mural. And then we'll shift into what's new what's coming soon, and then a live demonstration. And then also we have a special guest to talk about um, their specific use of Mural with Teams. Excited, an action-packed 25 minutes here left to go. Um, and so without ado, I'm gonna get started. I am joined with my colleague here, Bentley. And by the way, I'm Lindsay Etoff. Um, on our, I'm on uh, Mural's strategic partnerships team. Like Doug mentioned, ask us questions. We love questions. Feel free to pop them into the chat. So Mural is a digital workplace for visual and digital collaboration. Um, we, we think about Mural as a, as a dynamic environment to unlock new ideas for teams to collaborate both asynchronously and synchronously, um, which is ex super ex important for the hybrid experience um, and for uh, innovative hybrid work. So. Um, moving forward, um, Mural plus Teams, uh, it's a really nice story and it's its a story of being better together. Um, what we've worked on throughout this year, uh, let alone in the past 10 years that Mural has been around, this year um, since we've been enhancing our integration to be seamlessly integrated with the entire Mural uh, Teams experience. Um, but it really elevates and allows you to work in Teams and Mural together. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. But before I start, we're gonna show a little video about Mural and the hybrid experience. I'm gonna click play, but I believe you have the controls on your side as well to uh, control the volume. That's correct.
Beautiful. So um, we should have just shared a little overview of, you know, mural and action. And just to know, we partner with members to transform the way they work, but also empower imagination. We call it imagination workers. Here's a handful of some of our um, some of our enterprise customers. Uh, also with these customers that you see up on the screen, if you check out the mural website, we have a lot of really great blog posts that center around the use cases by which teams at these companies are using mural. And I think it's super, it's super important, especially in the collaborative environment with, with products like Mural to get a little uh, preview into the tactical side of how people are actually using it um, to kind of transform the way in which they work. There are lots of different use cases for, for Mural, and thank you for posting that in the chat, Bentley, he is my partner in crime here. Um, there's lots of different personas and use cases by which people might use Mural. We wanted to highlight a few. I know that there's a lot of um, uh, a lot of folks here are from the retail and consumer goods space. Even if you're not in that industry, these three personas from program and project management to innovation strategist and advisor, and also to designer and UX designer. There's a lot of different use cases where people um, leverage Mural to innovate the way that they work, both asynchronously and synchronously, but also within teams. We'll see how it's done within teams, but just calling out a handful of different use cases here from prior prioritizing and strategizing your roadmap to journey mapping and storyboarding to brainstorming ideas and ideating new concept concepts. And a traditional use case that people think a lot when they think about visual collaboration and products like Mural, facilitating design thinking workshops and design sprints. So again, all types of different use cases. This is just a little bit of food for thought if you happen to fall into one of these different personas that we see here. Now, the exciting part, and I promise we're about to get into the live demo of what Mural looks like inside of Teams, but um, we've had an integration with Teams, Mural is an integration with Teams um, for the last three years. At the beginning of this year, um, we came up with a joint product roadmap with Microsoft to elevate our experience of Mural inside of Teams to create a seamless experience and meet users where they are inside of Teams so that they can use Mural. So what's new? We had a great big release at the beginning of, um, it's October. So at the beginning of last month, it's not September anymore. So what's new? Um, the first item here in this first column, bringing Mural into your asynchronous work that's in chat and channels. Again, I will show all this to all of you live. Next, bringing Mural into the end-to-end -end experience. So that's bringing, adding murals to your meeting invitations and also into the live meeting experience. Very exciting. We're actually, for those of you here live today, we're going to um, showcase that live meeting uh, functionality. It's called Share to Stage. We're very excited about that. And then lastly, working on murals seamlessly in the Teams in Teams using the personal application. So for any folks that are Mural users, um, there's a dashboard, there's a web app. We have brought it so you can just access the dashboard individually um, using Mural. What's coming? Um, in terms of our forward-looking roadmap, we do put a heavy, um, a heavy focus here at Mural on our integrations with the Microsoft ecosystem as a whole. So we were excited this year about elevating where we're at in Teams, but then looking at M365, Azure DevOps, SSO, and much more. And so we're really excited about some of the things we have coming at, towards the end of this year, but also early into next. I don't see any questions just yet in the chat, so I'm actually going to switch and into sharing my screen where we have a little bonus mural where um, Bentley is actually going to share the visitor link to this to this mural towards the end of this session so that um, everybody has the content that we're about to share. So I'm just going to switch to sharing my screen so you can actually see what mural is, even though it's first going to be the web application of mural. I'm going to look to you, Bentley, to just do a little facilitator trick. Can you give me a thumbs up, Bentley, when you can You're see good. it? Wonderful. Thank you. So as I mentioned, this mural we're going to make available to everybody because there's a lot of great um, links and content in here that we might not cover all of it because I really want to focus on the live demo. 
but that's one of the values of mural. It's something that can live on after the session. So there is sections in, in this mural for resources. Bentley's also gonna share all these links in the chat, but we're gonna share all of this, um, all of this and make this available. We also have some really great customer reactions in quotes, like everything's all in one place, <laughs> it just works. Um, and that's in regard to our um, integration with Microsoft Teams and Mural. Now, I'm gonna quickly go over the ecosystem of where we're integrated, and then we're gonna go through the live, um, the live demo of M Mural inside of Teams. So here what you'll see um, is outside of Teams, so we have our Teams integration, like Bentley message, message in the chat. We're also um, hosted on Azure. We have been since the 10 years of when um, Mural's been a company. We have an integration with GitHub. We have easy copy and paste in and out of Excel. Um, we have apps for Windows 10 and the Service Hub, and we're optimized for, um, for Edge. And actually, the image search here within Mural is actually Bing image search. So all of that covered, let's see what the mural, what mural inside of Teams is actually about. And I'm going to actually talk through this integration through the narrative of I'm preparing for this snackable session um, and talk through asynchronous and synchronous work while talking through the application of mural inside of Teams. Can I have a thumbs up, Bentley, that you can see my Teams now? Alrighty, thank you. So first of all, once you add your your admin for your tenant will need to um, allow Mural as an application within your team's tenant. Once you're able to do so, you as an individual user will be able to add Mural as an as an application to your specific in, um, access. So here on the left hand side, I have the Mural app. What's really great about the Mural app, this is the personal app, and talking through that narrative of Bentley, Travis, Doug, and I are preparing for this session, I can create a new Mural or I can start from existing. So here, what you're seeing as, as the Mural loads, I'm here within Teams and I'm loading a Mural so I can actually work on it. Um, this is great because then you don't have to jump out into um, the, the web app and you can work seamlessly in the mural here. Notice I have all my feature functionality on the left-hand side. I'm a facilitator, definitely worth checking out our facilitator superpowers. Um, and so I can do things like go into private mode, votes, et cetera. So for our narrative, Bentley and I are preparing, but I'm the primary facilitator, so I'm going to start the content here in the personal app. Now, maybe, I want to then share the mural with Bentley, who's my co-facilitator. I'm going to go to the chat here within Teams, and I have a chat with Bentley. And you'll notice here at the top where you can add a tab, I can add mural as a tab now to the chat. So Bentley and I, as co-facilitators for this, for this session, we can interact about the mural. You'll notice it comes in as a, as a post into the chat. And then we can interact. So we have the personal app where you can work um, almost ind independently, but seamlessly within Teams. We have the chat where you can add murals, a tab to one-on-one -on -one or one-to-many conversations. And then lastly, here in the team, so net, maybe now we're ready to share this in the team with Travis and Doug. So here I have a channel, or sorry, a team called Product Team and a channel called General. You'll notice that I can add Mural here as a tab to the channel. Also, when you add Mural as a tab to the channel, it does a post into the post section of the team inside the channel. It's really helpful because you might want to work asynchronously, like I'm mentioning, in the Mural beforehand, individually, or in the chat with with your co with your co-facilitator, or maybe here in the channel, I post this as a way to do pre-work before the session. So that's the personal app, the chat, and then the team channel. Now, the newest capability, this is all new capability, but then the, the last two pieces of our capability are adding mural to the meeting invitation itself 
and then sharing the mural to stage, which is what we're all going to experience in one moment. But before you do it, Travis, I'm just going to give a little screenshot just for the value of the recording so people can see what it's going to look like. And then we'll actually, what we'd like to do is bring everybody in to, to actually try it. So this is this share to stage functionality, which you'll be able to experience in just one moment, where we're gonna be able to share mural live in this meeting. And what you as participants will be able to do, and you'll see a screen that comes up that says join as a visitor. So it'll bring you in as a, a sea lion or a different, a different animal. And you will be able to add sticky notes during this session into the mural without having to shift, switch tabs, um, screens, anything. Alrighty, so I'm gonna pause, remove my screen share. And Travis, I will let you take it away to show, um, show the folks here the share to stage capability, and then we'll have um, Athena talk about her use case live. That sounds great. So I'm gonna go ahead and share a window here. Bear with me for a second. Boom. Okay, so you have to look at yourselves here for just a moment. So up top here, you, you'll notice from the ellipses, you can click on and add additional apps within your own Teams meeting. In this case, we've already added the mural app, but if I click on add an app, I can do a quick search or anything recently that I have uh, attached to, um, it'll show up right in from my pick list. So in this case, we've already got mural at uh, attached. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the mural link. You'll notice on, this, on the right panel here that the mural is, is ready to go. It's already been uploaded. We've already connected it. So I'm gonna go and click on the up arrow to get that bad boy up on the screen for all to see. You'll notice now that it'll actually pivot to the actual mural itself. You're not actually looking at my desktop any longer. Lindsay, over to you. Why, thank you. And it might take just one second to load. And as people, and like I mentioned, if you don't have an access to mural, what I'll do is it will ask you, um, oh, we have 67 people in. <laughs> it will ask you to come in as a, um, as, as a animal. <laughs> so I'm going to summon everybody over to me. And that's one of our facilitation superpowers. And I'm going to summon someone over here and you, what you'll notice is and i see some people writing i, I brought everybody over to my oh, i summoned to a different spot but you'll see a lot of people all in this mural and if you'd like i'm going to go to just some white space for everybody and you can actually add sticky notes so you can type in and you can actually see people moving around. I know there are a lot of cursors. You can actually click on don't show me cursors. Hi, ah, we got some writing. I know it looks a little bit messy, but feel free to Now try. that's collaboration right there. That is collaboration. Right. But one little caveat to know, because I know that if you're listening to the recording, you don't get to see um, what's going on. I might just take a little screenshot so I can pop it in the chat or if anybody's quicker than me, you can do so. One thing to note when you're using this functionality, um, the recording will record your audio and video, but not the share to stage. Call it, it's called share to stage functional functionality. So I see everybody trying it. We see some post-it tests. I have some drawing. Very nice. <laughs> I love, I love seeing everything. everything. <laughs> All righty. So I'm here a little. I'm here, a little. I'm here myself twice, but if it's only me, then it'll be fine. So Travis, please be we'll your phone, yeah. folks. Yes, please. So I'm gonna actually summon everybody over to me and just do one quick last little thing. And one of my facilitator superpowers is I can summon you to me and make it so you can't edit. One last thing in this mural, and like I said, Bentley is gonna post this mural into the chat. There's so many different resources in here. You can double click any, any of them. And just a couple little CTAs. I know Travis and Doug will handle it at the end, but there's just links in here on how to try Mural, how to sign up for free. We're gonna be at Ignite. Come check it out. You might hear me speak again because I'm in one of the talks. Um, and reach out to us if you need anything. So with, woo, 
eight minutes to go, Travis and Doug. I think I'm on time. I <laughs> would like to stop the share to stage. Um, we can have Athena tell her use case. Well, before we uh, uh, let Athena share her story, you know, Bentley uh, or Lindsay, do you want to talk a little bit about what it does it take to get this implemented within your organization? Absolutely. Bentley, would you like to take that one or I can absolutely do it. You're, point, you're pointing at me. Okay. So <laughs> what we'll have shared in the chat is there is a technical IT guide, but also we have a really great support support guide for this. So one of the items that you'll need to do is have your team's admin of your tenant turn on and enable Mural as a third-party application. Then you'll be able to then go, once that's on, you'll be able to individually go to apps. I can maybe share my screen if you think that'll be helpful and add Mural as an app in apps. If you do have an enterprise plan, there's one extra step, enterprise plan with Mural, there is one extra step that you'll need to do, which is turn it on in our company settings. But I, but that's all of that is detailed out in our um, IT tech guide. Thank you for pacing that. Is that what you're referring to, Doug? And Chuck? I want to make sure I cover that holistically. Yeah, and I, you know, once your admin uh, allows for Mural from an end user standpoint, you know, it, it's fairly straightforward for being able to use the application going forward. There's not a whole lot of overhead, if you will, uh, on being able to take and take what you've experienced with Mural and the application today and move it into Teams. Exit. Exactly. And the what one thing to, to note is Mural will um, will use inside of Teams the authentication that Mural is that you've set up in Mural as the web app. So if you're a company that's set, set up SSO or you haven't yet, it you will once you add Mural as an application, it will go through the sign in or sign up flow through Mural. It'll just pop up as a little box within Teams. Very good. Thank you, yeah, Lindsay. Absolutely. Athena, I'd love for you to share your story with us. If you will. And sure. <laughs> so hi, my name's Athena Sapir. I am a CSM, uh, like Doug and Travis. And um, I've been using Mural for quite a while, and I use it a lot with my customers. I find that while Teams is great for you know collaboration and meetings with customers, sometimes you need a big whiteboard to kind of capture a lot of what uh, end users are doing. And so I've laid out three different ways that I've used Mural um, in the past three months with customers um, in order to help them um, understand collaboration in the um, in their organizations. And so the first was end user journey mapping. Basically what we were looking at was um, how are end users, um, what, what do they need? <laughs> what do these frontline workers need? What are their biggest pain points? And so what we ended up doing was inviting a bunch of frontline workers to a meeting and putting a mural board up. And the, the beauty of this was everyone was able to put things in their own words. People, we were able to map out what that what the priorities were, what the difficulties were, what the pain points were, um, and all see it together. And after the meeting, my contacts at the customer and I were able to collaborate um, through Mural in order to move things around and arrange things, and um, yeah, and really kind of take that forward. The customer was also able to take screenshots in order to put together PowerPoints as they um, marched our initiative and our messaging up within the organization. So we were working off of the same, you know, piece of paper, so to say, um, and and we were able to, to collaborate even when we weren't on calls together. A similar use case um, was we had a customer who was um, a design team in particular who had a very complicated use case and they knew that they could use the modern work platform better, um, but they weren't really sure how. And we had started a conversation um, where they were trying to talk me through it. And it was a, uh, oh, but then, and then I come in and, and it was impossible to follow. So what I quickly did was I spun up a mural board and they started putting stuff down um, and working together to show me what the big map looks like of how they, um, 
how they went about putting together an executive presentation. And through that, I was then able to map back how they could better use um, the modern work uh, platform um, through their words and how they saw the world. And then the third use case is a day in the life. I had a customer who was asking us to do a demo. And we interviewed a woman in terms of what a day in the life looked like for her. Um, we spent an hour with her and I took notes by myself in mural. I then shared that mural with my IT contacts at the customer. And we were then able to simultaneously work together to move things around, highlight where we might still have follow-up questions. And my customer was able to go in, see where the red stickies were. You can see some of them really stand out uh, in the middle of the page here, um, and follow up for me without multiple emails back and forth and things like that. Then once we had once we had a good understanding of what that day in the life looked like, um, we I was able to take screenshots of what my demo was going to look like, and we kind of moved things around, added notes. She would make X's on things, or you know do little drawings in terms of what she wanted to see, and we were able to work together again on a shared kind of big board on a wall um, almost uh, virtually in order to put together a demo on how the customer could best use uh, modern work. Those are my three use cases. If there are any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Gilly, if there are follow on questions, sorry, Travis, so just you know, certainly throw them in the chat and or reach out to Travis and I, and we'd be happy to make connections to the right folks so that we get those questions answered. So, so I guess, where do we go from here? So yeah, if, if there's more questions, you know, raise your hand. Feel free to come off mute, throw them in chat. I love all the collaboration. Uh, great group today for sure. Lots of interaction. We love all of that. Uh, good, nice size group as well. Uh, lots of questions in regards to sharing the mural afterwards. So they can come back and, and play. Um, but as far as you know, we we'd love to get your feedback. If, you know, if you click on the uh, that Platt Snack survey link, which should be clickable, uh, leveraging PowerPoint Live, which is a great feature. Uh, go ahead and click on that link. We want to hear your feedback if this session was, you know, did it hit the mark? Uh, or uh, we're also asking, you know, do you need help, uh, right? Are you, are you looking to get more information from the Mural team at Microsoft for a, for a deeper conversation uh, on that link? You can provide your, your information and we can have a follow-up conversation with you. Uh, we'd also like to know, like, what other third-party applications do you want to learn about? We've done previous sessions with uh, Poly and ServiceNow and Workday uh, a few weeks ago with Adobe, talking about Adobe Sign. So uh, feel free to check out those links on that, that third bullet there for past snackable recordings. Um, as far as installing the app, uh, you can find that right in your team's app store. And as Doug and Lindsay were indicating, uh, if you don't see the Mural app from the team's app store, probably because IT has blocked applications for you, um, make it, make that business request to your IT department, uh, but hopefully they've opened it up for you. Uh, and then finally, I would say uh, the mural set snackable should be up uh, on our YouTube channel uh, later today, if not by tomorrow at that mural snackable link. Go ahead and check that out, uh, forward to friends, what have you. Uh, and we thank you so much for joining today. Uh, we are almost on time, so that's, that's pretty amazing as well. So if there's <laughs> Any last minute questions, we can hang out for a few minutes uh, and talk. Other than that, thank you so much. Looking forward to see you the, seeing you the next time. Uh, we'll follow up with an email as well with a few of these links. So thanks so much, everyone. Thanks, Mural team. Thank thanks, you for Meryl. having us.